Hi, I'm Ian Midgley, and we're here at Factory Farm in Missouri with Open Source Ecology, and the creator of the project, Dr. Marcin Jakubowski, and Open Source Ecology replicator, James Slade. So James, what do we got behind us here? We have the prototype version four of the life track. Um, we just recently took this from prototype three to four by adding in new quick attach wheels. We brought in the arms closer, more like a, a traditional skid loader. We also added a custom paint job in flame effects just for effect. And uh, we've now delivered it back to Marchin here so he can use it. Marchin, what are you going to do with the life track now that it's back here at the farm? Okay, so the point about this tractor is to get ourselves fed fully from the local, local land and that's agriculture duties. So we have a farm director coming and we're going to go to our next milestone of, of sufficiency here and that is to produce our own food. So that's, that's an exciting time to actually see the equipment in real life. Since winter time, we've basically been finishing the, the Hab Lab. That was the big punch after the workshop was built. And that just recently got finished to the point that we moved in only a few weeks ago. So we've got a comfortable space for six and we're still finishing up four more rooms. The kind of organizational front has been, well, starting to prototype a little more in a workshop, like the torch table's going on right now, the iron worker's going on. We're trying to fill in a team of people who can assure that the documentation is being made for the things that are being worked on site and that we're collecting all the other developments, the replicators and others who are doing stuff independently in remote locations. People like Wikispeed, the open source car, or the developments with the power cube, the, the tractors and CEB presses down in Texas. Basically, we're at the stage of growing from this, this small operation to a world-class effort. You can think of it perhaps like a Wikipedia for open hardware development, but trying to set up a realistic organization for open source hardware development. Yeah, it's really exciting. And uh, so I've been here shooting the conclusion to our documentary down in Austin with James, and now we've brought it up here to our last day at Open Source Ecology. And I want to thank all of our Indiegogo supporters that have helped make this film a reality so far. We're going into post-production next month, and we need even more support to make this a reality. So thank you for everything thus far, and let's spread the word. Cheers.